Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So this video you're about to see on YouTube is a free preview of my course on Timeleaf and the Spring Framework, how they work together. If you like what you see in this series, head over to my website at springframework.guru and you can learn more about the full course. Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru. So in this module, we're gonna take a quick look at HTML. I'm gonna create a new HTML document in IntelliJ and we'll go through some of the basics of HTML. Okay, you can see I have IntelliJ up and we are going to go ahead and create a new HTML file. I'm gonna create it in the templates directory because ultimately what we create is gonna become a, a time leaf template, but it won't be yet. So let's go in here and I'm gonna come into IntelliJ and say new Let's see, I should have HTML file, which is exactly what we want. I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to call it index. And IntelliJ gives me an option. I want an HTML file. So we are going to just go ahead and add that. A couple things IntelliJ is going to set up for us. The, the top line, line number one, doc type HTML, this is what tells the browser that it's HTML5. HTML5 is a properly structured document in terms of an XML sense. We can see that everything has beginning and ending tags. So if you look at line two, that's the opening HTML tag, and that goes down to line 10, where that's the closing HTML tag. Now, every HTML document is going to have a head section in that head section, you're going to get imports for things like CSS files, JavaScript files. You can actually get script elements in there as well. This is going to be stuff that the browser is going to use, but it's not going to be displayed on the page in any way, except for the, the title element. That will be displayed in the, the title bar of the browser. Otherwise, nothing on, on this is going to be displayed to the user What that's in, in between the head tags. Now, the body tags, this is where things get interesting. This is the content that is going to be displayed to the user. And uh, some common tags are, we can use H1. This is a heading. We can also use a P tag. That's for paragraph. So th these are common tags. In these tags, you can also do So we can do some style hints as well. And th this is actually a CSS rule. Now let's take a quick look at this. And you can see in IntelliJ, I get browsers coming up and I'm gonna ask IntelliJ to show it in Chrome right now, simply by clicking on it. I'm gonna bring this over. I'm running a dual monitor setup here. So th this is a document that, that we, uh, we created. And I'm gonna show you how things can work in IntelliJ. So I'm going to add in a, a second heading and I'm using H2, which is a different level of tag. Now, when I toggle over to the browser, IntelliJ is automatically going to save that for us, but I, I'm going to hit refresh and now I get that. Now, if I wasn't using IntelliJ and something else like Eclipse, you would have to hit save, but in IntelliJ, we don't. Okay, what you saw there was a real simple demonstration of creating a new HTML document inside of IntelliJ. I added a couple of elements to that document and showed you how, from right in IntelliJ, we can ask IntelliJ to open up the browser and view it that way. And as we make changes in it, we can toggle over to the browser and see those changes automatically, or right away, I should say, because when we leave the active window of IntelliJ, IntelliJ will actually save the file for us. That saves it to disk. And then we can see those changes right away when we refresh the browser. And that, now there's other IDEs and text editors that do not do a save for you. So if you're using something different, you may be a little bit confused by that if you're expecting to see your changes. Now this development cycle, I, I intentionally showed you this because we're working with pure HTML. Now in Timeleaf is a natural templating en engine. So we are working with HTML documents in Timeleaf. They're, they're pure HTML documents we are going to be editing Timeleaf that way and we'll be able to toggle over just like we're editing an HTML document. We'll be able to do that in Timeleaf as well. What I have there now, even though I put it in the templates directory, which is where we will be picking up Timeleaf templates from, we, this is not a Timeleaf template yet. 
we will be converting that into a time leaf template in future lessons. But right now it's a simple HTML document. We are going to use HTML and build upon that going forward and ultimately change this into a time leaf template that Spring will, will render and use a time leaf engine to render that. But for now, we're going to start with HTML and then progressively reiterate over this and make it into a time leaf template that time leaf and spring can utilize to render pages for us.